What a great day. See, one thing people don't understand about a sport bike is going fast isn't as dangerous unless you hit a deer or some, you know, some obstacle. But it's not as reckless as they think because the bikes can accelerate faster, handle better, brake faster. Uh, they're just more competent all the way around, so, you know, it's not as risky as if you were driving at these speeds in a car. And a lot of people don't realize that. Now up here, I'm going to have a section that's in the shade, and I'm hoping the street is dry. There's just too much traffic. guy's waving his finger at me. He was like the mailman or something. People just don't get it. I can be going 20, 30 miles up an hour over the speed limit and still be safe. Okay, now we're getting in the shade. And this is the area where you can find ice. The ground is saturated, that's why the the road is real bumpy right there. Saturated and frozen. One thing that blows me away about this bike is I had it jetted in LA and uh, you know rejetted with the dyno jet and uh, and the stain tune exhaust and the airbox cover removed and I never rejetted it when I came here. And it's never felt like it need, needs rejetting. I mean, even though we're much higher elevation, I mean, right now I'm probably at at least 9,000 feet, probably closer to 10. And, uh, you know, no hiccups or nothing. I remember riding this stretch right here and I'd be getting hiccups on my KLR before I finally got it jetted right. And its main problem wasn't so much the jetting, it was the the airflow. It just never got enough air at these higher elevations. Boy, the top section of this, you can see they've been plowing it because the, the top part of this pavement is all scraped away or something. They really got to repave it. So I'm a little reluctant to go any faster. G gorgeous day. It's a 
little breezy. They use this pumice as a uh, for traction in the snow and ice. That's what that brownish, reddish stuff is. This jackass in the road. Yeah, the fucking road, asshole. A lot of sport bikes up here. That's Via Grande, means Big Valley, and it's part of Valles Caldera, which means uh, the volcano valleys. It's one massive volcano the size of all of Metro Albuquerque. It's now a national park. It used to be a national preserve. It was actually donated by a rancher to the federal government. Kind of makes you wonder what the hell is he thinking. But uh, now that it's a national park, you know, it should be uh, even more accessible than when it was a preserve. Because when it was a preserve, you couldn't go in there and hike or fish or anything. You had to have a tour guide, like somebody from, from the preserve. And I went fly fishing there once with a group. I was, with, I was a uh, volunteer with the, uh, I was a mentor with Big Brothers. So I went there with my little brother and my two girls and we went fly fishing ground underneath this road is really really soaked and frozen because it's just uh, causing all these ripples in the pavement and it's making for a very very bumpy ride oh man I'm getting too old for this bike <laughs> But I've also been sitting on it for a long time. So, uh, this is it, Via Grande. And uh, elk in September uh, congregate here, and that's where they do their rutting and everything in this valley.